Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Holcomb from the PLD School Library, and today I want to show you something really neat that I found in my garage. Um, well, actually, it was about a week ago, I found all these little tiny spider eggs when I was clearing out some stuff. And so I put a couple of eggs in here, um, just because I like to collect cool stuff and show it off. And so today I discovered I have baby spiders. So you see all those little baby spiders in there. You can see that the egg sack is right here in the corner. We have some spiders that have come out of there and are kind of crawling around. And at the other side here, we can also see another egg case there and some little baby spiders. And so that made me think of spider web slime. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to make today. And to make spider web slime, you need a secret ingredient. You need sodium polyacrylate. So what's that? Well, sodium polyacrylate is a super absorbent polymer. Um, and so that means that it soaks up a lot of water. You may have played with something similar um, if you've ever used InstaSnow. So InstaSnow is also a super absorbent polymer. It's got a slightly different chemical structure than this one though. So it becomes really nice and light and fluffy. Whereas this actually becomes more like a gel. It's going to absorb all the water and soak it all up. And this actually, Again, you might have, have used this before and you probably never even realized it. It's found in diapers. So when you were a baby, you've used this. Or also if you have a younger brother or sister that wears diapers, um, this is actually found in diapers and it absorbs when they go to the bathroom. And so that's why a diaper can like swell up and get really big. Well, so we're gonna use this. Don't worry, it's completely clean. I did not get this from diapers. Um, I bought this online and like I said, it's called um, sodium polyacrylate. So sodium, it's like salt, and poly means many, and then acrylate, it means it comes from acrylic acid. And so I'm gonna be using this to make our slime. So first thing I'm going to do is I want it to absorb water. So I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of this, and I have like about six ounces of water here, three, three fourths cup and I'm gonna pour it in there. And right away, what's gonna to start to happen is it's gonna to start to absorb the water and become kinda of clumpy. And so it's just absorbing it there, soaking it all in. And so I'm gonna leave that to soak in. And while that's soaking in and absorbing all the water, we're gonna talk about spiders. So lots of people are afraid of spiders, um, especially if you saw something like that crawling around, you might be, you might be afraid of it, you might wanna run away or stomp it. Um, but most spiders are harmless. We don't need to be afraid of them. And they're actually really beneficial for the environment. They, they help take care of pests and eat insects that we don't want to have around. And they do like that by making really cool webs. And that's where they catch their prey. Um, so it's really, really neat. But like I said, lots of people are afraid of them. Um, and so I say whenever you're afraid of something, the best thing to do is get more information about it. Do some research, learn more, investigate it. Um, so the more you learn about spiders, the cooler they are. And one of my favorite books to do that is called um, I'm Trying to Love Spiders by Bethany Barton. And you can get that from the Mercer County Library System. It's available this summer for you guys to check out if you'd like. Um, we also have lots of different books about insects and spiders and stuff on our um, eBooks that you can check out through Mac and Via. Um, but one of the things I love about I'm trying to love spiders is there's all these cute little drawings of spiders all through the book and one of the ones I love is called a happy face spider so we always picture spiders as so scary but check out this happy face spider it's so cute but what we're actually looking at here when we see this happy face is actually its bottom that's the bottom part of its body up here is actually where its head is, and we can see that it has its eight eyes, because spiders have eight eyes and eight legs. Um, that's how we know that they're different than insects. Insects have six legs, and arachnids, that's part of the family they're in, have eight. And so also in that family would be something like a scorpion. Scorpions have eight legs. Ticks are also part of the arachnid family. And right here, you can see right next to that happy face spider is an egg sac, like I just showed you in this container here. So, see how it's very similar. And then there's all our baby spiders again. Let's check in with our water gel. Let's check in with our, solid, our, poly, our sodium polyacrylate. And so here you can see now, now it is a gel, it is solid. 
And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna squeeze it down into my bowl here. And I'm just gonna break it up a little bit. And actually I could do that with my hands too. You can see I can play with it. It's just squishy. It's really, really squishy. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add our glue to this. So we use glue um, in all of our slimes, our slimes I've showed you before. Uh, so we're using glue, because glue is a polymer as well. And remember, a polymer, I'm gonna rinse this off my hands. A polymer is a chain of molecules. So that's what makes it sticky. All those molecules wanna to stay together. I'm gonna to do half a cup of glue in here. I'm just using regular white glue. And I'm gonna stir it all together. Get it nice and fluffy looking. Get all my glue. And then stir, stir, stir. So stir it all up. Now normally when I make slime, I do one part, one part, one part. Meaning I do one part glue, one part water, and one part liquid starch. In this case, I don't need to do the water because the water was already absorbed by the sodium polyacrylate. So it's already in there. So I'm not gonna add water, I'm just gonna add liquid starch. And so remember, liquid starch has um, borax in it, it has borate ions, and that is what's gonna cause the cross-linking between our polymers um, and make them come together as strands. So I'm gonna pour in, oops, that's the wrong measuring cup. I want the same amount that I use for glue. So if I did half a cup of glue, I wanna do half a cup of liquid starch. There we go. Stir it all up and stir, stir, and right away it's becoming clumpy and all coming together. And now, so this glue, I mean this slime, is one that doesn't come together right away. This slime is actually really, really, really nice and fun and stretchy later, but this is one of the ones that actually is better if you let it sit longer. So right now you can kind of see those strands coming through it. So you can see those strands, but when it comes together, it's gonna to be even nicer. So this is one you can play with it right now and just play with the strands like that, or you can let it sit for a little bit and really, really let it, um, get nice and smooth together, and then it becomes really stretchy and sticky. So right now I can already start to see it coming together a bit more. I think it's actually best, this slime is probably like best overnight, because um, it just gets really, really nice the next day, but you can already start to see the strands of like a spider web in there, make it really, really cool. I'll have to come back and show you after it's been sitting for a while. So it's been about 15 minutes, I wanna show you how the slime has changed. Um, let me just pull out the spoon here, and you can see um, it's become definitely more congealed. It's all come together, and it's really, really stretchy, and now it really looks like a spider web. It's very, very cool. So this is spider web slime, and you can make it, like I said, with either the sodium polyacrylate, the um, diaper polymer, or you can use Insta Snow to make it, and you can do the same thing. You can either put the Insta Snow right in with the glue um, and mix it that way. So mix it with some water, mix it with glue, and put it in that way. Or you can just roll it um, in the Insta Snow afterwards. So either way, you would get this really, really nice stretchy spiderweb slime. So I hope you enjoyed learning about spiders and making some slime. Have a great day.